Even though the Saturday's explosion attack in Hatjai was not the first but fifth act of terrorism that was committed in nine years in this economic hub of the southern region, the incident someone named Armageddon was significant because terrorists seemed to have stepped up the level of their terror by ruthlessly causing heavy casualties of innocent civilians. However, 4th Army Region Commander Lieutenant General Udom Chai Tamasaro Rat said security officials have not yet resolved that there was a clear link between the Southern Separatist Movement and the Hat Jai explosion. He still maintained that the separatism conflict is limited within the three southern border provinces and four districts of Songkla, namely Thepa, Chana, Natawi Sabayoi, Hadja is not part of the conflict area, he says. Deputy Prime Minister Yuta Saksasi Prapa cited the attacks were prompted by effective suppression of narcotics and illegal trade in the south. So, it looks like Yuta Sak does not believe that separatism was the real motivation in the Hadja explosion. Thayrat's front page headline today seems to echo Yuta Sak's theory. The paper's headline shouts, A politician at national level was behind the Hadjai and Yala explosions. The politician in question wanted to divert security officials' attention away from narcotic suppression by hiring suspects involved in the Hadjai airport bomb attack in 2005 to commit the act of terrorism. Udom Chai does not completely rule out the drug trade motivation theory, but said the link between drug traders and separatist movement is that drug traders fund the movement. Well, isn't that the recipe of disaster? Yutasak provided intelligence insight into the latest development of separatist circles, saying they are the new extremist group under the umbrella of the BRN coordinate, which are against their own colleagues' soft approach of resorting to negotiation with the state. Meanwhile, Army Chief Prayut Chan Ocha shed some light as to why violence in the restive south cannot be settled through negotiations. Prayut said, negotiation is impossible because there is not just one group but so many groups with different agendas, from separatists to drug traders and to others who commit illegal activities. Besides, there are also small separatist groups vying for leadership by committing acts of terror as a show of force to attract new members. The army chief says, holding talk is not illegal, but it's impossible to talk to all of them. He says, the solution is to lengthen the arm of law to arrest these groups. We cannot use emotion or violence to suppress violence. We know who we are fighting against, how many of them and how many of their supporters are. There are not many of them, but they hide their identity and whereabouts. Prayut further reveals that BRN coordinate are children of the old or original BRN group which consists of 300 leaders and 10,000 allies or supporters, but he said the number has dropped by half as a result of crackdown, investigations and arrests by security, security officials.